homegrown development. We hear a lot about that, by the way, in the early part of the hurricane season during the month of June. And homegrown development is when you get an interaction between the jet stream and the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, southeast coast of the United States, or even as far south as the Caribbean. That interaction begins as the jet stream dips southward here. And that dip in the jet stream brings either upper lows or a cold front into those warm waters, producing an area of low pressure. And if you can get that low pressure system to sit over the warm waters, you can slowly translate this into a tropical system. Ingredients coming together for that as we head toward the weekend. Let me show you the water vapor loop. And what you have here is you have a stalled boundary. There it is across Florida. Now, you'll also notice already you're beginning to see uh, more whites and blues showing up here off the southeast coast of the United States. This is where we expect our area of low pressure to form. Also, I want to draw your attention to this. These clouds across the Mid-South, this is energy in the atmosphere that's going to be diving southeastward. So the combination of this front and then that energy diving southward later this week, I think forms the area of low pressure. There it is. It'll start forming here Thursday night and Friday, anywhere within this orange area. And remember, once you get low pressure to sit here, water temperatures, well, they're well above the threshold for tropical development, usually for about 78, 79 degrees. We're talking lower to middle 80s. So if you can get that water, that low pressure system to sit here for 48 hours, I think you can get at least a tropical depression, if not a tropical storm. So if you look at the check sheet for the homegrown development, we have the interaction, we have the upper low and the front, so we have all of these. I'm not sure the area of low pressure is going to be sitting here long enough to produce a tropical system. But regardless, there's going to be impacts, and this is an area to watch as we head toward Friday and over the upcoming weekend.